And uh, yeah, ritual festival time. Get right into it. All right, let's play. All right. So what I'm going to do first is get some music. Alright, yeah, I hope you guys are doing pretty good tonight. Uh, yeah, we're just going to do a little bit of both, you know, chill with Duels of the Roses, chill with Master Duel, just have a little fun, so, let's do it, let's do it, alright. All right. And, can't get, really go wrong with Rex, so we're at uh, 147 wins, 3 losses, so let's do it. Right. Trying to get uh, the flood save file to BG Brigadier. Let's do it. All right, let's crank it up because we got that good beat. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> That dragon treasure, so I'll throw that on Aqua Dragon. Nice, nice. Tons of tight. <laughs> Hydro Bust of Dream. Oh, destruction. <laughs> Kill my blue eyes, blue dragon. Turn the time down. <laughs> Rex, sing it, my boys, like that. Alright. Nice. Anyway, back to the real gameplay. Roar, Aqua Dragon. Roar, Zabi Maru. Alright, let's see if you can. <laughs> two mouth, two mouth dank ruler. <laughs> Thunder Horse Hyper Beam Man, that red is bright, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
One of Rex's better cards, Brachioride. Wait, how would you even say that? I know there's a Brachiosaurus, but uh, the right, the radius. It sounds like radius, which is a math term, you know. So, not the same. Not the same. Hydro burst of three. Yeah, hi, hi. All right, let's pull up in Discord here, and let's dis the cord, yeah. Now, I'm, I'm just going to say that I'm live here on a couple of servers, and we we'll jump into the gameplay. We, we just chilling, man. We chilling, man. Chilling like villains. I guess let's check out what rewards we can get. Right? I mean, I don't really care, but let's see the dailies and stuff. Let's see. All right, guys. Rit Festival, huh? All right. Ritual Summon, yeah, 20. I'd say Spell Trap, 20. That eh, manageable. All this is manageable. Duel 30 times. That's eh, manageable, you know. Uh, log in. Daily missions are destroy, normal summon, win a duel. Pretty easy. Alright, so. Right, here we go. So, some of you guys may be wondering first of all, why am I still in just chatting? Second of all. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> What's my strategy? <laughs> I'll show you. I'll show you what my strategy is. My strategy is... Let's get rid of the Autobots Assemble deck. Delete. Um, let's go here. Let's go to Duel. Hey, 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 what up, sir? <laughs> I'm back for another episode of Wheels of Sorry Do the Right Thing. Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Alright, see you guys in. Now, what's up? Hey, sir, thanks a lot for being here. Oh, uh, yeah, this is the Ritual Festival. You know, there is a strategy I uh, thought of. <laughs> right. That's kind of funny. You know, Konami tends to forget certain cards exist. So I just had a random thought, sir. Does this card exist in the Ritual Festival? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ah, looks like they took it out. So, you know what I was thinking of, sir? You know what Mask of card I was thinking? Mask of Restrict. <laughs> looks like somebody remembered that one. Uh... <laughs> All right, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, what about this one? What about this one? Hmm. Okay. 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 Um. There's another effect, right? There's a monster that literally has the effect. Neither player contribute cards. And what's that monster's name? Let me just put in tribute. Let me just put in tribute. <laughs> yeah, man, that would have been cool. That would have been cool. Uh, tribute. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> do, 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 do. All right. <laughs> this card might not even be that bad, really. Um. Let's see here. Hmm. Oh. Uh. Huh. Hmm. Cannot be tributed, you say. Uh, I'm liking what I'm reading here. Alright, let's throw in some spellbound. Uh-huh. Looks like they forgot one, sir. Looks like they forgot one. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, can't be tributed. Okay. Have fun doing your dailies. <laughs> Looks like we're playing Spellbound Turbo, chat. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah. 
Yeah, I just so happen to have two of this card. I think that's good enough. That's good enough, yeah. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hmm. Neither player can set cards. Pretty good. You know, I hear Prediction Princess. Prediction Princess is a ritual deck. Let's play this card. This is a very funny floodgate, by the way. <laughs> Let's play this card. <laughs> okay, so what our strategy is, right, sir? Our strategy is to, like, dunk on Prediction Princess. <laughs> is, is Vanity... <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, 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 it's not. Uh, what about this? What about this? What about this? Ooh, they, they banned Christian. They banned Christian. Okay, okay, okay. What about this one? What about this one? <laughs> okay, okay. They, they knew. They knew. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what what about this one? What about this one? <laughs> oh, we found one. We found one. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Let's just let's just be a little mean. Let's what about the turtle? <laughs> yeah, let's just uh mm -hmm. Tetsudo. Ooh, Tetsudo. Ooh. Ooh, Tetsudo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Tetsudo. Tetsudo. Mmm. Mm, okay, okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Um. Hmm. Considering our strategy, this card's not too bad. Um. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, just one, just one, just one. Okay. Hmm. It says. Oh, okay. This. Pseudo. Oh! Ah! I like what you're thinking, sir. I like it. I like it. Yeah! Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Let's play this one. 1800 or more. Yeah, let's play this one. Let's play this one. Okay, I'll craft that. I'll gladly craft that. Let's craft two. I think two's enough. Two's enough. Two's enough. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we got both, so you know what? I can throw in Umi. Yeah, burgers and shambles. Hell yeah. Alright, so now we throw in... Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, didn't see that one, Konami, did you? Did you? Oh, good. Yeah, 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 buddy. Yeah. All right, and from here. Let's, uh, mm-hmm, yep, let's, uh, just kind of, yeah. and just, uh, yeah. and we just, uh, mm-hmm, and we, uh, yep, and we, uh, hmm, yeah, 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 ah, uh-huh, 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 yeah, yeah, <laughs> yep, mm-hmm. Don't mind me, guys. Just just building the deck for fun. For fun. Fun. Good old-fashioned All-American. Fun. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yep. Don't mind me. Alright. Mm, not bad, honestly. Um... <laughs> 
I am... Pro probably not, sir. Probably not. Uh... Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Okay, so I think what we want now... And maybe let's back off light to two, yeah? Okay, light, light to two. <laughs> okay, what we want now is the best floodgate. <laughs> yep. And then, um... Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. And then we want this card. <laughs> yeah, yes sir, yes sir. <laughs> you betcha. All right. And then let's just add some cards for fun. Good for fun. Good old fashioned all American fun. So let's go. Water levels, hmm, four and five, yeah. Oh, I guess seven's also pretty good, yeah. Four, five, and seven, ooh. Okay. Water, hmm, four, five, seven. Okay, here we go, here we go. Uh, yep, okay. Then we go with, oops, nope. Nope. Uh, all right. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's that's a card. That is a card. Yep. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Mhm. Mm um. Mm -hmm. Uh. Ooh. Eh, we don't want to make it too good. Yeah. <laughs> Um, hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, my boy. My boy. My boy. All right, that's good enough. My boy. Get in here, my boy. Yeah. All righty. And then let's play Orca. <laughs> Orca turn. <laughs> uh, all right. Hmm. Um, I love Fenrir. I really do. Um, <laughs> hmm. Um, hmm. Okay, okay. New bitch. Hmm. This is a pretty easy special summon from what I remember. Yeah, that's gonna happen a lot. That's gonna happen a lot. Okay. Okay. That's fair. Um Hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Why not? And then <laughs> Yeah, here we go. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> the Maggio Sheldon, hell yeah. Alright, and then finally we run this. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, a good idea. <laughs> um, yeah, we just, uh, don't mind me, just, uh, <laughs> um, pot of, um, did they ban extravagance? What? Wow. Okay. 
All right, that's fair. Um, okay, this deck looks pretty perfect. So what we want to do now is let's just add some fodder here. So, okay, exceeds level four, five, and seven. Yeah, no match. Um, uh, exceeds four, five, and seven. Seven. Wait, no exceeds? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, what? Exceeds. Oh. <laughs> I see. Uh, let's see. Link. Any Link monsters? Hmm, not bad. Um. <laughs> oh, you get to draw the two cards with a cross sheet. That's funny. That's so funny. That's so funny. Okay. Um, yeah, true, true. True. Um, hmm. Hmm. Let me think here. Yeah, there's got to be something here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Ah, uh-huh. Yeah, see, see, this is what you were talking about, sir. This might be the right way to go. With the Millennium Eyes, and then you do uh, Relinquished. Yeah, this might be the right way to go, honestly. Yeah, because it's just so easy. It's so easy. Uh, that might be the right way to go, like, later. When we're not playing Stun Turbo, this might be the right way to go. Like, seriously. Yeah, it's just so easy. It's so easy. Um, What else? What else? Um, hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> mm. wow. Mm. Oh, <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. The wheels are turning here. The wheels are turning. Hmm. Mm. Mm. -hmm. mm. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Hmm. I, I'm just taking a look. Just taking a look. Just taking a look. Just taking a look. Hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Taking a look. Alrighty. <laughs> hmm. I think my game froze, like legit froze here. There we go, there we go. There we go. Almost forgot it, sir. There we go. And that feels a little better. All right. Looking good, looking good. Uh, back down. Mm. <laughs> this is so funny. All right, let's back down. Let's back down. Uh, we can back down this. Yeah, we can. Oh, also. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. And, um. All right. Two outs. Two outs. Um. Eh, one Mobius. I don't know why this is even here. Yeah. Good floodgate. Don't need it. Um. Also. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay. Of course they remembered that one. Okay. 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 All right. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh. Yeah, let's play this. Let's play this. Let's play it. Let's play it. <laughs> yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um. Hmm. 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 
Okay, let me go here. Let me go here. Trap. Hmm. Oh. Pretty good card. Pretty good card, yeah. So, not bad. Um. Hmm. 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 Okay. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay, you know, this may be a really good way to go. Yeah. Yeah, Renewal of the World. Keep this card in mind. Like, this this is a really easy, like, ritual engine. Yeah, this is pretty good. This is pretty good, yeah. And it's uh, it's generic, so... This might be the way to go. This might be the way to go, yeah. For sure, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um... What else? That ain't bad. That ain't bad. Um, Vindred. Okay. Magic. <laughs> hmm. Not bad. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Nouvelle token. <laughs> all right, with all that being said, let's remove two and duel. Um, guess we don't really need this. Um, hey, kind of, yeah. Kind of, sir, yeah. Kind of, kind of. Let's just see what we find today. Let's see what we find here. Um, hang on. We got. We gotta. We gotta spice this up, man. Let's see. Kinda, yeah. All right. So let's go with this. Let's go with hmm. This. Let's go with this. And let's go with this. And let's go with. Uh, do you think Shadow? Has... <laughs> probably, probably, sir. Probably. Um, let's check. Let, let, that's that's a legit floodgate. That's a legit floodgate. Um, and I am playing Uriah, so yeah, that's a legit floodgate, my man. Um, anyway. Hmm. <laughs> There's a monster version of that too. Looks like a ball. Hmm. Uh, this will work. This will work. This will work. And then we include. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Okay. So we back down ceiling to one. And we back down, um, mm, I kind of like this card. We back down, <laughs> Machi Ocho. No, 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 we back down, um, maybe two. Is two really that good? Um, it's, it's all right. All right, I hate to do it, Mobius. Nobody plays traps anymore. Sorry, bro. All right, sorry, Mobius. You're the man. You're the man. But, uh, you know. All right. All right, let's duel, buddy. All right, so we'll go with Ritual Festival deck. Let's just see what we run into. Who knows? Consecrated life. <laughs> Get it one, man. Get it one. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah, let's go first. All right. OK. 
Okay, so we go with... We got this, man. We got this. So we go here. And we go with... Mm-hmm. 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 Do 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 We go with this and this and yeah. We go with this, so an endo. Alright. Yeah. Alright. Okay, I see. I see, Master Duel. I see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Not bad. I think he's playing Chaos Max Earth. I think he is, yeah. I think he is. Hmm. Hmm. We'll check it out. <laughs> Chaos Maximus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Alright. So we'll special summon Jellyfish. Mm hmm. And we will main two. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, let's show them who they're messing with, man. <laughs> Alright. Right. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go, chat. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Mm hmm. Okay. Nice. Mm hmm. So, what we do here is we play Raigeki. Right. Chef in the building. Hell yeah. Now, next we summon Tetsudo. And <laughs> now we just. Yeah, we, uh, yeah, battle phase. Uh, sure, let's just do this for fun. Let's get the, uh, special summon daily. <laughs> Raphael, hell yeah. And let's, let's attack. Get in there, Tetsudo. Yeah. <laughs> this is the content you all subscribe for. <laughs> all right. In the turn? <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> what do you do? Ooh, toolbox. This is actually really good. All right. Not bad. Not bad. All right. So we'll switch Tetsudo to... This is what's the story should. <laughs> yeah, tell him, sir. Tell him. This is what Lord Sasori should have done to finish off Sakura. All right, let's get that special summon daily, bro. Yeah, I'm special summoning, bro. Yeah, 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 bro. <laughs> there ain't no way, bro. We should have lost that one. Did we? <laughs> ain't no way. Let's go. <laughs> Dude, sir, like, I know it's only been one duel. I love this deck, man. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. 
<laughs> man. Oh, that's hilarious, man. <clears throat> um... Oh. <laughs> Delicious kiss. Hell yeah. Alrighty. <laughs> now, obviously, this deck isn't meant to go second. Like, look at all the floodgates we have. But, at the same time, I do want to try... I do want to try to go second, just to see, like, how bad this deck is. Okay, you see, this is what you're supposed to do. You know, so... <laughs> Say it in your cold voice. <laughs> the precious must have the precious. I, I could never do a good golem. I'll, I'll be honest, man. But uh, he's a heck of a character. Ooh. Uh, resisted the poison. Fish recipe. There we go. Nice. All right. Yes, I, Maximilian Pegasus, will now serve you up a dish of excitement. Bueri Bai de Novel. I like wine from the French country, and I like to call it Bueri Bai de Novel. Such a tasty wine for me. Only the finest Gorgonzola cheese. Mm, yes. <laughs> Alrighty. But yeah, they should ritual summon a couple more times, so honestly looking pretty good. Oh, two face downs. Hello, Mobius. No, I'm just kidding. Uh let's see what they got here. I draw. Mm, not, not a card we want right now. Let's see here. Let's set the best floodgate. And then <laughs> let's set Mama Grizzly and pass. That's right. <laughs> Man, this deck is fun. I'm having fun. You know what I like most about the Mama Grizzly tech? It can set, it can search uh, Tetsudo from the deck. <laughs> It'll probably get ashed, let's be honest. But, I mean, you know, whatever. Um, Recite de Personal. Very good. All right, let's play the best Floodgate. Light of Intervention. There you go. All right. <laughs> Uh, oh, well, hey, you know, there you go, guys, so, um, pretty important. I do need to show this for a future LP, but Maiden of the Aqua has been promoted, so she's at Brigadier. That means we can fight, uh, the Labyrinth Ruler. Nice. All right. All right. Nice. Oh, that's what I want. Yep. All right. Token. Token. <laughs> they, they they should pop off here though, sir. Like I mean, the uh, the the hamburger recipe deck is actually like really good, so. They should pop off right here. All right. <clears throat> ah, yes. Hmm. Who else did a new vein? Win this card, special summon, and draw a card. When a card or effect that targets a monster on the field, or your monster is targeted for an attack, you contribute a new hell monster you control in one attack position. And if you do, special summon one level four or five new Vel ritual monster from your hand or deck. Hmm. Not bad, yeah. Not bad. All right. And they have Pasicel Cuvetter. Hmm. Not bad. As well as Poisonate de Nove. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Nice. I get <laughs> nice. All right. Nah, you know. I mean, I took French. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you how I know. Like, sir, 
all the French I know. So uh, this is a true story. And this is a true story from Flood Mod, about little old Flood Mod 14. So uh, um, back in 2002, when uh, dinosaurs used to roam the earth and uh, people used to, you know, use mighty morphing Power Ranger rings to transform. Um, Flood Mod 14 had a little, uh, yeah, he was hustling. I mean, I was still in junior high. And uh, we had this uh, immigrant, and she happened to be from another country. Um, the country was France, and um, her name was uh, Jean 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 Vier. Yeah, Jean Vier. Uh, but uh, her last name was Genevieve Vier, so it always confuses. But uh, yeah, the city of love, indeed. And anyways, so Jean Pierre, but uh, no. Yeah, uh, we just called her Jean because, like, that's a lot easier to... Yeah, and we just called her, like, Jean or specifically Joan of Arc because we were uncultured swine. But, um, yeah, so uh, Joan, as she'll be officially known from here on out. Uh, yeah, so she was kind of a loner, you know what I mean? Didn't have many friends. Uh, she didn't even sit, sit at the anime table. Like, and, like, one day I was just like, man... I don't know. She looks like she looked like she was just about to cry. Just like, just cry, just cry her eyes out. Right. And, uh, this was in like, like eighth grade. And so back then I actually was nice, you know, not so much as an adult now, but anyway, like I was just, I felt so bad for her. I was like, man, um, she did not, she didn't know a lick of English. Well, like, and eh, maybe like polite stuff, like, you know, hello, like, how are you? Like, you know, eh, you know, enough to like get by, but like, well, anyway, long story short, I went over <laughs> it kind of like, I attempted some French because like, uh, yeah, <laughs> but, um, uh, long story short, I figured out one thing. She was hungry and she didn't realize how the free and, uh, uh, reduced program worked, you know, for the schools. Because over there, you have to pay for everything in uh, France. So regardless, you have to pay. But she didn't have any American cash. And I later learned, <laughs> you dropped the omelette de fromage. No, I. Uh, it was nacho day. And, you know, I had a bunch of money saved up. Because I always helped my daddy uh, mow the grass in summer. And so I had like, you know, even though I was in eighth grade, I had like, eh, 2,500 cash in the bank. And I happened to have like 20 bucks on me. And I was just like, oh yeah. <laughs> and so I went to the teacher and asked for some extra nachos. They're like, well, you have to pay. Eh, yeah, you know, and I was just like, okay. <laughs> and so I like, I laid the 20 down. And then and, um, I, then I pointed to her table. I pointed like this. I said, hey, over there. And then, um, yeah, I like, they delivered the plate, the plate to her. And then, like, she, like, flagged me over to sit down. And, like, yeah, all the French I learned was from, I would write her in English, like, what she was supposed to do, especially in class. And then she would write me back in French. And, like, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, eventually we did stuff. But, um, like, literally, she didn't know what to do. <laughs> and so what they did is they rearranged my schedule to, like, yeah, basically we had all the classes together. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, kind of a weird thing, but um yeah, okay. I made it happen. <laughs> so, <laughs> and that's the story of how Flood Mod 14 like kn knows French. Yeah, we like talked, you know, talking. You know, where all the talking is blah, 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 you know. So <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, so, uh, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Are we still in contact? You know, sir, um, I looked her up on Facebook, uh, this was about four years ago, because we were having our, uh, our high school reunion, um, but she never graduated our high school, but, like, I still wanted to invite her anyway, because that's the polite thing to do. She came to our high school in, um, in 10th, but not 11th and 12th. But I was just like, hey, man, I'm sure everyone remembers uh, Joan, you know, so I, I mean, no, I didn't marry her. 
<laughs> I didn't. I mean, okay. I I'll confess. I dated her for like eh, a year and a half. You know, and then um, the only reason we broke up is because her family moved again. So that was kind of sad. But uh, I did get one thing. Goodbye, sex. <laughs> and that's the story of how I met your mother. <laughs> oh, by the way, if you're watching this like five years in the future. Hi, Joan. Thanks for the memories. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> you know, I, I just got to cover my bases. No, but seriously, uh, and also thanks for doing that, you know, that one request I just kind of, yeah, I really appreciate that one, you know, that that was that was a big favor, so, alrighty, <laughs> you know, just covering my bases there, sir, uh, but no, no, I hear she's like married now, and she's got, uh, I heard she's got two kids, and she uh, got a job, and like, basically she like, of course, that's the goal when you immigrate, right, she raised enough money here, like, did really good in school, um, you know, got scholarships and stuff to universities where they do speak French. And, yeah, Nacho's MVP, man. No, uh, but, like, seriously, though, she was, like, she actually had high intellect. The problem was, like, you know, because I took a lot of AP classes, as did uh, Joan. But, um, yeah, the problem was just, like, it wasn't that, like, she wasn't smart enough to do the work. The problem was she literally didn't know. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Over there, A is a different, you know, it's just a different phonetic. So, yeah, <laughs> you know, or whatever, or pi, you know, pi is a different phonetic. So it's a different word altogether. So, yeah. <laughs> the only problem she ever had in school was like, literally, I don't know what to do. Like, the teacher will say like, okay, write a five page paper. Well, she doesn't know what to do. So yeah, <laughs> we made it happen, man. And there was a lot of times of miscommunication, you know, confusion. And that's, you know, that's kind of normal. That's like, that's to be expected, man. <laughs> it's just like, dude, she literally didn't know a lick of English, like anything, you know? So you basically start from the ground up and then just, you know, uh, I only bought her lunch for like maybe a week. And then apparently um, the small amount of like notes, because I, I, I gave her some notes about the like uh, school lunch program. And like I sent that with her day one and apparently she got approved like really fast. So that was helpful. So but I only bought her lunch for like a week and then. Yeah. And then you just kind of. <laughs> it's just like, hey, man, she was clearly starving. And, like, I could tell she was about to cry. It's just like, and what the hell's going on over there? <laughs> and, like, what was weird is I was on the football team and stuff. And, like, you know, all my guy friends were just like, oh, who cares, bro? Like, who asked? You know what I mean? Like, that's that's a meme now with you kids. But, like, they were like, yeah, who asked? Who cares? Like, ah, fuck you. You know, like, hey, get back to the game. You know, whatever. Let's talk about football. I was just like. I'm a, I'm gonna go over there. Fuck this, <laughs> you know. And I I like did something, bro. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the story of Joan, and uh, yeah, she's nice, you know. Anyway, we have Recite de Hall Poison. All right, maybe I'll get better at my French. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, we called her Joan. That wasn't her, you know, real name, but. Uh, Joan is just easier for us because we're lazy, filthy, sacrable Americans. Disgusting. Oh, I forgot the word for lazy, but uh, <laughs> uh yeah, Genevieve, yes, but yes, uh, she, croissants. No, she actually called me lazy all the time. <laughs> that, that was like her pet name for me. Is like lazy. I forgot how to say it in French, but um. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty funny. All right. All songs. Hey, man. Hey, like, the French have provided a lot of things. Like, the art. Yeah. Pot of soul. Yeah. You know what I like about the French? The art of surrendering. It's a tricky art, and you got to time your surrenders right. 
Have I been to, you know? <laughs> nope. Wait. I might have when I was drunk. And I just don't remember. <laughs> There's a distinct possibility. My college years were pretty, pretty wild. Um, there's a, yeah, yeah. I, l let me check with the database, AKA my friends, and I'll report back to you. If I did go, I was so toasted, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. All right. Yeah. Uh, side note, I know we're not doing much here, but boy, uh, Nouvelle seems to be the way to go. <laughs> Do you want your uh, rituals done? I don't know. This uh, Hungry Burger stuff, looking pretty good. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> um, one thing I will say that was interesting about this entire experience is like, okay, at some point I met her mom. Yeah, that was kind of, uh, um, yeah, because, uh, okay, for context in the story, you know, Joan, Joan is white. So, <laughs> now I'm not saying anything mean about her mom or anything like that. I would never, I would never do that. Um, you know, I'm just letting you know, it was, uh, you know, different cultures kind of, you know, clash sometimes. And I'm not, you know, it wasn't anything bad. It's just like, yeah, it was just kind of, you know, different, <laughs> you know, especially because like, okay, you know, I joke about being from Wisconsin, but the truth is we're from the South. Okay. Like we're, for, we're, we're Southern the reason I don't bring out my Southern accents. Cause I sound like Jesse Anderson, but that's my natural speaking voice. I mean, really, it, it really is, sir. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> and like back then, man, when I was in junior high, my southern accent was really thick. Like, man, was that <laughs> like it was bad. It was just, yeah. So, um, basically, her mom was just like, and it's kind of understandable. I mean, she was just kind of. I mean, she was nice after a while, but that first meeting was just kind of was hella awkward. I think what helped though is, um. Like, we had band together, so, and then, like, she saw, like, okay, I clearly came over, she hated crawfish. <laughs> no, she didn't hate crawfish. What she hated was, uh, because uh, my mom, God bless her, <laughs> uh, so, because we went over there to eat, right? I mean, I, I got to do something while I meet her mom. And, of course, you know, my mom came, and what made it awkward <laughs> is my mom brought like some turnip greens or something. She she brought something like I forget what what brand of soul southern food she brought. It wasn't crawfish, but like man, she brought something that just it was probably collard greens, man. I mean, that legit sounds like the problem. But like long story short, uh Joan's mom uh hated it, bro. She hated it. Like, cause she like tried to taste it and tried to taste it. And then she did that. Uh, you guys might've seen this before where she just literally just like, she just started spitting and <laughs> Hey man, and their culture, if you don't like something, yeah, that, you just literally, you do it right in front of the guests. Like you just, and then you get a napkin and just spit one final time you literally get the taste out of your mouth and it's just, it's not being rude or anything. It's just like, Hey man, uh, I think you'll understand this, sir. And really everyone will French cuisine has some really, 
really high standards. So, and hey, I like my mama's greens, but not everybody likes greens, man. And, you know, southern greens are kind of an acquired taste. And to be honest, mama has always used too much salt. I mean, I'm too scared to tell her that. But, uh, hey, man, you know what I mean, sir? It was kind of a blessing in disguise because, um, you know, my daddy got high, had, had high blood pressure. So uh, I'm just throwing that out there. You know, that kind of adds up over time, all that high blood pressure and all that salt, you know, to add flavor, all that grease. Just like, yeah, man. <laughs> Hey, that 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 ish ad, adds up over time. Should have went with the Godfather. <laughs> I mean, if she wanted to bring fish, but she was afraid. Like, even the fish is high quality. You know, in France, it's pretty damn good. You know, according to Joan. So, like, it's just a different flavor. It's just a different ocean. It's a different sea. It's a different. You know. Don't the It's a different seasoning. It's a different everything, bro. I think it's the Eiffel Tower. You know, it makes it taste better. Even though it's the same catfish from the same Atlantic Ocean. Also, cod is pretty pretty fresh close to there. And down here, not too much cod. Well, there's Call of Duty. But there's not too much cod. So, you know, anyway, it is what it is, man. And it is, it's almost like this is one of those situations where it's just like, oh, mama burnt the roast or, you know, it's basically like it almost would have been better if she had burnt the roast, you know, because, uh, well, let's just say my mom was like, oh, she pulled that mom cut. Well, don't you ever go over there again. I said, blah, 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 blah. Never go. I want you to stop talking to this girl. You paid for her free lunch and da, da, da. I, I said, I was her only friend. Well, until, you know, like eventually she got used to enough English to have like one girlfriend. So, but that wasn't until like we all went to the local high school. So I was her only friend for like, I don't know, a year. <laughs> So, yeah, just like, what am I going to do? Just like drop her like a drop her like a hat and leave her out to dry. Like, oh, yeah, good luck in class, bro. Like, no, like good luck eating. That that would be kind of like I know my mom was mad, but like, yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to let someone starve. That's ridiculous, bro. That's redonkulous. So, but yeah, I had a lot of classes together, had band together. Uh, she played the uh, uh, tuba, and I'm, you know, I'm into brass. I was a trombone, so there you go. So, trombone's the thing with the slide, you know. Womp, 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 you know. And tuba's the thing with the, the big kind of... So. Anyway. Yeah. Cool girl. Cool girl. Um, had a pretty good attitude, really. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, nope, nope. Well, her mom wanted her to play the horn, but I played the horn. Well, I played the tremone. And yeah, her mom wanted her to play the French horn, but she, uh, purposefully... She actually had a higher grade on the French horn, but she pur purposely said, now nah, I'll play tuba instead. Think of the culture. Yeah, she did. And she said, you know what, Mom? Fuck you. I'm doing whatever I want to do. <laughs> so she literally told me, because I asked her the same question, sir. I was like, hey, why'd you choose tuba when you got a better grade on horn, on the French horn? She said, oh. Uh, <laughs> and like, I'm loosely translating. But she said, yeah, fuck the establishment. <laughs> and then she also called me out for um classism oh just because i'm french i have to play the french horn you know like she she started cussing me out 
I was like, oh. My bad. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and she kind of has a point. Like, oh, you want me to play the French horn because I'm French? That's kind of racist, bro. Well, not like racist, but like country is. It's like, yeah, just because I'm playing, I'm American doesn't mean I have to play the America or sing America the Beautiful. I don't have to sing shit. <laughs> the fuck kind of logic is that? Yeah. Once she said it like that, I was like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. What's the most American instrument? I don't know. Bagpipe? No, that's like Scottish. Um, Although bagpipes were used in the some of the revolution. I, I'd say bagpipes are American adjacent. They're pretty... They're culturally significant. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. What's the most American instrument? I don't know. Probably the drums. I mean, that's kind of... Banjo. <laughs> Man, sir, you crack me up, bro. He said banjo. I mean, ah, I got it. Guitar. 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 Let me go down to the creek. Grab my rod and reel. Grab my guitar. Yee. <laughs> oh, yeah. Guitar. All We got all kinds of guitars. Electric. Bass. Right. 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 Standard. Yeah. Guitar. That's pretty American right there, man. Yeah, good old guitar. <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, they're just getting their dailies, so I'm going to discuss um, something I've really been meaning to discuss for a long time. Look at this burger. Isn't that tasty? Also, <laughs> look here. Isn't this just beautiful? Look at that. You can, like, smell it through the cardboard. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Man, this uh, you know, in here's the problem with the Nouvelle archetype, right, sir? I would never eat uh, I would never play it in real life. Why? I would be too hungry. Imagine taking this to a YCS, right? <laughs> no, 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 no. Here's a here's a true fact, sir. Imagine taking this deck to a YCS. Uh, who here's been to a YCS? No one. Good. Okay. Here's how a YCS works. You're basically trapped in a prison camp. Yeah, you got freedom. But you can't really move freely between rounds, matches, etc. You basically are. Once you sit down and start dueling, you're not allowed to move forever. AKA until you lose. But like... Yeah, you do have some freedom, but, like, they're not going to let you snack on Doritos while you play Max C. Again, you know, they're just not going to do it. YCS has, like, has always had certain rules about food consumption and time between rounds, etc. And, uh, yeah, I wouldn't play this archetype for one reason. You see, whenever I went to YCS's, right, sir... I always had a food strategy, and the strategy was go to IHOP at uh, 7.30 a.m. right before start time, and you just eat pancake after pancake after pancake. Then you eat enough pancakes to last all day, a.k.a. until you lose. Then you're not hungry, you know, from 8 a.m. You're not hungry all kind of pancakes, unlimited pancakes. Then you got to remember also I attended locals in 2005. I mean, uh, YCS in 2005 regionals in 2005. Um, yeah. So all the way until like eh, early 2012, uh, anyway. And yeah, you just basically eat enough to last from 8 AM until 5 PM. Is it gluttonous? Yeah. Is it disgusting? Yeah. But basically, you make it to where you don't have to worry about food all day. And you can literally... Thank you, Karma. Hey, it's easy scoops out here. Oh, connection failed. <laughs> Be on that McDonald's Wi-Fi, huh? <laughs> but um, 
Uh, Oni Kaku. But uh, yeah, easy. Yeah, so that's the strat. <laughs> but the problem with the new veil archetype, right, sir? Here's the problem. Here's the problem. Seeing all that food on my cards would override. Uh, oh, is it really? Oh. Well, anyway, seeing all that food on my cards would override my logic sensors. And that's the problem with the New Veil archetype. Yeah, it's good. And yeah, it's fun. But I don't like being hungry. You're not you when you're dueling. Snickers satisfies. Hashtag not sponsored. Okay, well. Anyway. Let's take a look here. Perfect stun hand. And pass. All right. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> yeah all right we're having some fun here drunk rooster what the anyway let's go at narrow corridor all right so if you've never seen this card yeah so basically both players can only normal summon up to two additional monsters pretty crazy yeah but uh the card it's a it's a floodgate Oh, I see, Master Duel. The one time we don't draw respect play. By the way, guys, did you know that dangers have to reveal themselves for cost? And did you know also that respect play, like, counters them? <laughs> because if your hand's already revealed, you can't reveal it again. Ooh, interesting. All right, well, there's photo mirror, so... Wow, that's a lot of life points, amigo. Now, I imagine they're going to play the Negati boy. Ooh, Zael Gigas. Okay. Well, hmm. Double reveal. Let's just, uh, five grand for nothing. Have fun with that. Have fun with that, drunk rooster. Oof. Five grand for nothing. Oof. Feels bad, man. There's one normal. There's one. All right. Mark. <laughs> Oh, man. <clears throat> There's ZL Gigas. All right. And I imagine they'll just attack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice little torrential there. Very clutch. Could you... Uh, um, well, hmm. You know, I have my personal bias, but honestly, yeah, Master Duel ain't bad. It's really not. I mean, yeah, we even calculated the gems per, huh? Like some people are starting to want alternate formats and like ban lists and stuff, and that's that's great. And I guess if they made like a goat format section, a goat format ranked section that's like always open, yeah, that'd be cool. I mean, lots of people love that format or. I don't know, you, you can even make it from, like, early GOAT to, like, late Edison. Basically, you could make a format, right, that says, okay, before, I'm going to throw out an arbitrary year here. Before 2011. You know, you just kind of, you just kind of, no, no, what I mean is, like, you slice the dimension, right? Because Yu-Gi-Oh! has been around since 1999. Right, sir? Okay, everybody with me. It's been around since 1998 in the OCG. Okay, and literally what you do is you slice the dimension. Okay, how do you do that? Well, you take the number of years it's been around, aka 25, and you slice it in half. What's half? You know, 12.5. Okay. And so you say, okay, we started roughly in 1999. We're going to make a made-up format that exists from inception to 2010 and a half yeah every card there is included um you can't use any cards after you you can use all the cards before though before 2010 june 2011 or 10 or whatever you see what i mean and then yeah you literally create a rank system for it you create now this takes time it takes work this takes like a lot of work and then, yeah, you just make gems and rewards for it. And, like, 
I'm not saying like split the formats, like no, but I'm just mean like like that format's always available. Formats with cards like this. Oh, and by the way, in this format, Sinister Serpent would be uneroded. Yeah. Yeah, and Brain Control would be uneroded. Yeah. And um Ring of Destruction would be uneroded. And uh, Yada would be meta. And traps would actually be played, which is kind of scary to think about. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Now, that's just me. That's what I want to see. That's kind of a selfish request. But not really, because, like, a lot of the community... Yeah, they just prefer older formats, or just like a older format. Yeah, if you want to be lazy, just do goat. Just include goat and like make make goat festival available all the time. And uh, yeah, you know, you know, don't forget chaos. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right, that's unerotted, but it's also banned because it's too good. You know. Yeah, you know. What would the ban list look like? Well, eh, you could unerot a pot of greed. Put it to one. <laughs> Who am I kidding? You can't do that. <laughs> Just retrain the cards. Yeah, yeah. Make pot of greed a once per duel effect. I'm sure that'll go over well. <laughs> Just retrain the card. And, and like, sir, what's funny is like, you're actually not wrong. Because if they retrain the cards... They have an excuse to sell the cards. So, and people will eat that shit up, man. Nostalgia baiting? Like, that's what Konami's best at, bro. Like, look at this mate over here. You see that guy of the Fierce Knight? Who the... Sorry. It's Sunday. I'm not supposed to cuss. Okay, did, did anyone really ask for the Gaia structure deck? Okay, put your hand out, Timmy. I see you typing them in my comment section. Shut up. <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> Sorry, I'm talking to the future YouTube VOD watchers. But no, seriously, besides you, Timmy, who you like horses. Okay, we get it. You're a chess player. Did anyone else really like Gaia and say, hey, man, I want a whole freaking fusion archetype <laughs> with a fusion spell around my favorite fusion card, Gaia? I'll tell you what, guy. Uh... Yeah. You got lucky, son. You got lucky. <laughs> wow, narrow corridor is like glued to my hand. What the heck? Uh, anyway, let's summon Kodaris. And we don't have Umi, but that's all good. Also, Daedalus is glued. Ah, Brick Eyes. Nice. All right, well, looks like we lost this one. We'll just set two and pass. I don't even think I should play Narrow Corridor here. Because they're going to get Blue Eyes right away. So, one thing about this card. You never want to play it <laughs> when you're at a field disadvantage. You always want to wait until, like... You saw, like, I only played it when we had Torrential there. Yeah, unless you got something to clear. Like, you really want to <laughs> be careful about when you play this card. So, just a heads up, you know, if you're, like, copying me or whatever for some obscure reason, which I don't know why you'd copy this deck, maybe for fun, but, uh, you know, <laughs> just a little warning, guys. Just a little warning on that. All right. Do -do 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 -do. Okay. Oh, my God, he's playing Chaos, Max. Hey, hey, cue the gauge memes. All right, let's play this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh man hey flu what's up <laughs> how's it going 
<laughs> yep, how are your duels going there, Flu? <laughs> Good to see you, man. <laughs> yep, we're just playing, uh, we're playing bad Umi control in the Ritual Festival here. Also, I think I might have disconnected. Oh, okay, they finally tributed there, but yeah, good to see you guys. I chain in perm. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. All right. <clears throat> yep. Doing good. Just finished. Nice. Hey, uh, Flu, uh, what deck did you go with, by the way? I I'm just curious, you know. We've been seeing a lot of uh, Nouvelle, de Fonteau, de Fonteau, de Fonteau, you know, so. A lot of, uh, a lot of that, but, uh, yep. Nice. All right. Look <laughs> my Uh... <clears throat> Just play Vanquish Shawl. Mm, but that's impossible. <laughs> wait, wait, Kaiba. I have a card to play. Go, Obelisk. Attack Yugi. No, no, no. I mean, uh, yes, check this out. Oh, right. That makes much more sense. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kaiba's just saying, he's like, that's right. I won't be controlled. I sacrifice a god. Not a deck without a floodgate. Hey, flood. Hey, that's in my name. Kind of. I don't know why I didn't think of this branding earlier. Oh, by the way, Flu, to start stream, what did we do? Well, we tried to, like, see if we could play, like, Mask of Restrict and, uh, you know, Limit Tribute. <laughs> Some pretty uh, cool floodgates. But, uh, no, we, we settled for this instead. Let me show you the deck. Okay. All right, guys. <clears throat> All right, I'm showing this for Flu. So, Flu, this is what we like to call Umi Ultra Control. And Sir came up with a genius idea. This card. That's it. That's the whole deck. That's what, that, that, that's that's the whole deck. Yep. You you can't do it. You can't play cards. Oh, also, we're playing Umi in this one. Yep. That's the whole deck. And also, we're playing these uh fun floodgates. Uh, this counters danger. This counters um uh the uh prediction princess. This counters everything, and this counters all the dark stuff. Turtle time. Also, we're playing Spellbound because ha 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 ha. <laughs> okay, that's it. That's the whole deck. <laughs> Our strategy is to frustrate people into scooping. That, that's the strategy. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> no reason. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, boys and girls, let's see what we got here. Ooh, stuff. Alright. I like the shadow. That's good. That's good. Alright. So to start, we will um bup, 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 bup. I just realized I need other cash cards to play this. Hmm. Eh, I could include two fin rare. Uh, that's that's reasonable. That's reasonable. And like one theosis. Mm, okay. All right, we'll start with this and this and pass. All right. <clears throat> do 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 do. Is it? Oh. Wow, Fenrir is banned. I don't say this 
this often, but Konami, you didn't fuck it up. Wouldn't say that flu you know prediction princess is a new archetype and if it's new you know it's got some consistency how bad could it be without the floodgates how bad could it be yeah i mean even we might try it you know like 10 days from now when we're still doing the festival we might try prediction you know how bad could it be how bad could it really be yeah, we'll try it. We'll try it. We'll try it. Oh, Drytron, my favorite archetype. Well, we know what to do here. Alrighty. <laughs> With no guard dog. <laughs> hey, I mean, I'll be honest, Flu. Pot of Greed, that's better than my deck. <laughs> I mean, I have Pot calling the kettle black, man. I really... I really can't judge. I It's better than my deck. No guard dog and weasel. I mean, better than my deck still. Like, hey, you got a free access to pot of greed. Man, better than what I got going on. How bad can it really be, man? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and here's the thing, Flu. I mean, I guess I can discuss this during the Ritual Festival. So some people have asked me, Hey, Flood, what's the problem with Ritual decks? I'll tell you the problem. Inception. Since it's Inception, speaking of Inception. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you, Karma, Justice, Fate. Uh, anyway, since it's Inception... What's been the problem with Ritual Summoning? Well, number one, in the anime and the manga, all Ritual cards were kept in the extra deck. Yes, the extra deck. During Duelist Kingdom. Yeah, it should have stayed that way, man. You remember in, like, Duelist Kingdom where you could just, you know, draw Blackluster Ritual? But he doesn't have Blackluster Soldier in hand. Yeah, that's because that shit was in the extra deck. For once, Duelist Kingdom did something right. Put rituals, I don't know, expand the extra deck to 20 cards and throw rituals in there. Would 20 card extra decks really be a bad thing? Yes, yes it would, because Phantom Knights exist. Okay, now that we're back to the core of the problem... <laughs> I'm just kidding, Phantom Knight players. I don't disrespect all of you. Just the ones who don't subscribe. To my YouTube channel, which I'm going to link right now. No, but seriously, though. So the problem is... <laughs> from its inception, right? Okay, you gotta draw the ritual card. Okay, how hard is that? I mean, you got Sonic Bird, you got Manju, you got... What if you get Ashed? <laughs> okay, no, 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 no. Like I said, Inception. Let's go back to 2002 when a little set came out called Spell Ruler. R U L E R. Ruler. No, it was actually called Magic Ruler. And those bastards at Magic the Gathering fleeced us and stole our name, man. Hey, yo, those suckers cheated. They stole our moves. Served. Hey, you just mad, nigga. Because today, you suckers got served. 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 And you know what us Yu-Gi-Oh! players got served? A side of piling steaming crap. We've been served lies. 
You see this green card? It's actually a magic card. You see this ritual card? It's a magic ritual card. <laughs> anyway, back to the gumbo. <laughs> so what's been the problems for rituals? Inception. Inception. <laughs> it's okay. We always have dry shot. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, flu, don't make me laugh during rants. Okay, now back to the rant. Inception. What's been the problem for... Hey, from down the mountain, thanks for the follow. I'm ranting about why rituals suck. You know why? Inception. Okay, so here's the problem. <laughs> this shit ain't in the extra deck. <laughs> you know, you see this blue card? It's not in the extra. Okay, in the, in the manga... And in the anime, the blue cards were in the extra, right next to the purple cards. Fusions. Okay? Entiendes? Everybody on the same page? You got it? Si esta? Junto? Verdad? Okay, we're all on the same page, man. Now, here's the problem, though. You got decks like Code Talkers. <laughs> you got decks like Salad. Though you can't really expand the extra deck to 20 cards. You just can't do it. Not yet. So, how do we fix rituals? I don't know. Just burn everyone. Say they don't exist. You know, cover it up somehow. Kind of like that JFK thing. I'm, I mean, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, JFK historians. Relax. Um, here's how you fix rituals. Um, you, um... You know how they kind of fix the fusion mechanic <laughs> to let you just fuse from the deck? Yeah, uh, so same for rituals, man. <laughs> Basically, you create new ritual spell cards that magically let you tribute from the deck. Yeah, that causes a lot of ruling problems. Basically, but you make it a rule right? <laughs> where like cards that are tributed from the deck... You know, they can't float because that would be a problem. And you just, you stop certain effects, right? Like, I don't know, man. Like, what could you tribute from the deck that would be so bad? Well, here's the problem, right? You don't want to give Branded <laughs> their Drew a Swarm for free, right? You don't want to give, I don't know, Tears... You don't want to give them two level fours because they're just going to send Merly and Havness and have a good day. <laughs> so here's the problem is like whenever you retrain ritual decks, not only do you need to ritual summon from the deck, you need to archetype lock it somehow, you know, some way. Like, I don't care how you do it, but not only do you have to archetype lock it, which by the way, archetype locking by default Steel makes it worse than every other summoning mechanic. Why? Well, because branded fusion can still fusion and still do other stuff. So, now, tributing from the deck, at least in... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's true, Flu. Stop making me laugh. Okay. But, like, that's so true, man. Like, okay, that's the way to fix rituals. But the fact that you even have to archetype new rituals, archetype lock, means that by default... Because branded fusion exists. By default, that means it's still the worst summoning mechanic, but it's not, you know, as bad as it is right now. And that's saying something. I mean, that's... Oh, hey, a field, a field of five monsters. Now, I'm sure they have some floaty boys here or some negate stuff, but, you know, whatever. Um, Holy shit. Value. <laughs> Thank you, TT. I don't even care if we lose, bro. Did you see that value? Holy smokes. No, but seriously, though. Literally, like, also create, like, a super poly ritual card that can't be responded to. Because at this point, not only that a super poly ritual card, you need a super poly ritual searcher. Okay, let's say they leave rituals as it is, right? You need the ritual card in hand. Ugh, dumb mechanic, but okay. And you need the tributes in hand. Okay. Ugh. Okay, make a super poly for your new ritual archetype. Let's just call it um 
uh, uh, what's a good name for a new archetype? A uh, shibboleth. Okay, so for your new shibboleth ritual monsters, right? Ooh, full combo. Um, yeah, for your new shibboleth ritual <laughs> and I don't know why I went with that name, but for your new shibboleth archetype, right, you not only archetype block it, and you not only do that, you give them a, a spell speed for pre-preparation of rights, because like, otherwise they stand no chance. And now, of course, here's the key part. You don't make the effects too good. <laughs> you know what I mean? We are talking about a ritual deck after all. So you make the effects, eh, you know, mild. Like, oh, once per turn, pop a card. Is that really so bad? <laughs> once per turn, tribute X card to draw one card. Is that really so bad? I mean, Sacred Beast can draw two cards per turn, and that's not meta, so, you know. Once per turn, negate stuff. Okay. <laughs> you know, and make them all quick effects, because it's 2023, everything's a quick effect. But, like, yeah, dude, like, that's my only solution, man. Because if you get hit by Ash on pre-prep, what the hell do you do, man? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you make your new shibboleth ritual monster have an in-hand effect that says, oh, if Ash is activated, discard ritual monster shibboleth XYZ, and then you get to draw two cards. I mean, but at that point, you might as well play triple tactics talent, so. Anyway, I tried, guys. The true answer is there's no way to fix what's already broken. You can only dissect it and completely eviscerate it, aka ritual summoning, and admit that your mechanic is shit, which <laughs> Konami would never do that. But then, you know, you heal it by, ooh, good card here. You heal it by restoring it from the ground up, which, again, Konami would never do. Konami would never admit they're wrong. And that they fucked it up. <laughs> That's just not going to happen. Okay, let's be real. That's not happening. Are we hand-boning them with the Newman Erat Testudo? Or did they break? What the hell's going on here? I think they're letting us win for content. But anyway. <laughs> um, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I appreciate you, Flu, for <laughs> making me laugh a little bit there. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But no, that's how you fix ritual. You like you either do one or the other. Either you coach it or condone it. Either you scrap it from the ground up. <laughs> Thanks, sir. Either you scrap it and just say, hey, ritual summoning doesn't exist. Or you make it broken. And by broken, I mean you make the searching broken. And it's still in hand. Ugh. But anyway, and then you just, you know, make the effects not too good you know what i mean quick effect negate quick effect you know once per turn quick effect once per turn add ritual shibboleth monster oh it's archetype locked you know what i mean like come on man i feel like there would be a way to pendulum rituals well yeah pendulums have levels so yeah anyway uh speaking of bricking i think we bricked would you like to use your... <laughs> Sir, don't be cracking me up, bro. No, but seriously, like, okay, okay. I've given my thoughts. Guys, how do we fix rituals? And I'm not saying make them meta. I'm just saying make them not as embarrassing. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know. Hmm. I legit don't know. Hmm. Wait, really? Oh, Rogue Tear? That's almost enough for me to ignore it. Okay. <laughs> sorry, Flu. Sorry. <laughs> you, you know me. I'm, I'm sarcastic as fuck. <laughs> sorry, man. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, okay, now on a serious note, what's the name of this rogue archetype, and why should I... 
respect it. And I respect it as much as I respect Drytron players. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, now seriously. After this stream flu, I promise I'll look it up. I'll look it up in the LCG and look at some tops. Because that could be interesting. Um, or not. We'll see. I'll, I'll use my judgment on this one. It makes Omnis, really? Ooh, it has card advantage? How? Kappa. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this man said card advantage in rituals. Like, you see, that's the funny thing, Flu. The fact that you said card advantage in a sentence about rituals, the fact that that made me laugh, that ought to tell you everything you need to know about rituals. <laughs> like, okay, you know, you know what? That's fair. You know what, Flu? There is a way to make rituals good. You know how Adag Nister ends on six cards in hand? Yeah, make rituals like that. You know, tribute from deck in on six cards in hand. Everything you do adds a thing that of the thing that makes you want to do thing. Yeah, just make rituals like Adag Nister. Oh, and give all rituals a field spell to like offset the cost. Wait, a field spell. Yeah, that's what they did. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Yeah, I guess that uh, a field spell kind of does. Uh... Yeah, rituals need a generic field spell that says offset cost and add back tribute to hand. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. I mean, honestly, Flu, I know you're giving the Kappa emote. But that honestly, does that sound so bad? Not really. I mean, it sounds like branded. It sounds like every archetype ever. Because like, hey man, tribe grades recycle their trap, their revolt. You know, every good deck recycles their best stuff. So why not let rituals do it? Yeah, just give them a field spell to like, draw cards and offset the cost and yeah let let rituals recycle omnis that are spell speed three would that be so bad no no it wouldn't because you still have the rituals <laughs> you still you still have to <laughs> you still have to play the fact that you're even playing a ritual spell and a ritual monster in the deck in the deck still is inherently bad <laughs> like you know i mean yeah, I mean, here's the problem, Flu, and sir. It doesn't matter when this, you know, hypothetical ritual deck comes out. It's still going to suck. It doesn't matter when it comes out. All ritual decks are going to suck. All of them. From now until the end of time. From now till the rapture. Or whatever you choose to believe. You know, you believe whatever you believe, I believe whatever I believe. But, like... Listen, dude, <laughs> you, so you might as well just make it busted now. Just make rituals busted now. Well, attempt to make them busted. I, I, I you know, get ready, sir. Get, just just be ready. I don't I don't know. But, hey, the small price for 1K Necros. <laughs> I mean, I love Nec Necros, man. Can I just say that? Like, and I also love the Gin Lock. That was a fun time. I mean... Yeah, you know, and like rituals already had their moment in the sun. You know, it doesn't get better than the than that cross format or the gin lock format. It really doesn't. I I mean that was like the apex for rituals. Like it, it's never gonna be that good again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, ritual lovers. Like it's you know be grateful for what you got. So I'll tell you why it costs that much, flu. Because if you weren't playing Necros, you were losing. Also, they had a few ultra rares, you know, that were pretty good. You know, I hear, you know, so yeah, <laughs> that's why it costs that much is because like, it's either, okay, play, play Necros at regional or lose. The deck was just that good. You don't believe me? I don't know. Uh, Google YouTube, some highlights from 2014. Or whenever that was. I yeah, you don't believe me? Google the footage, man. Google the stats. 
Google the win loss ratio of Necros format. Yeah, I mean, but like Necros. Can I just say Necros is better than Dad? It is. Necros is better than Dad. And that's saying something. Like, full powered Necros is better than Dad Turbo. It just is. It's better. Sorry. <laughs> like, sorry to blow your mind. Like, if you hate ritual decks, yeah, full power Necros is better than full power Dad. I'm sorry. It just is, man. <laughs> it just is. Like, the gin lock is way better than Dad Turbo Omega. It just is. Do I have the wrong opinion? Probably. But um, I remember Necros being so oppressive that I feel like the only argument is full. Okay, that's fair. That's fair, Flu. I mean, that's fair. I mean, full power zoo. That's that you know, flu. That's fair. I mean, full power zoo is a scary thought to have. But uh, hmm, could full power zoo take on tier? Yeah, yeah, it could. You know, yeah, it could. I mean, zoo's just that good. Zoo's like a carnival. It's like rabbit animals. You can't stop the zoo. You can only watch the chimpanzees rip apart the mountain lions. Yeah, and enjoy it. I mean, might as well. <laughs> uh, anyway, what are we doing? I forgot to take this card out, so let's scoop and take it out right now. Congratulations on your medals, ma'am or sir. We out of here. Three, yeah, I mean, Broad Bowl is just... Well, three Broad Bowl, man. <laughs> Oh, man. I'm so glad I never played Full Power Zoo format. But I talked to friends who did, and oh, my God, the stories they would tell me. Oof. Man. Yeah. That, that, that sounds like fun, honestly. But I didn't play that format, and thank God I didn't, man. That's, ooh, that sounded like hell on earth, man. Because, <laughs> like, you know, like, you know, I'm always connected to the Yu-Gi-Oh! community around here. It's just, you know, I mean, we got, we got like, we got packs on the walls and shit, like, you know what I mean? Like, eh, you know, yeah, I'm pretty always connected to the Yu-Gi-Oh! community around here, you know, so, yeah, like, even if I don't, you know, play play, you know, I'm... I'm in the conversation. Was D Barry? Oh, uh, that's a good question. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, yeah, Broad Bull is a hell of a card, man. Um, right. I was uh, editing the deck. So what we need to do in this deck is nothing. This deck is perfect. But yeah, uh, we can't use Fenrir either. So let's take this out. Uh, let's take out. All right, we tried, guys. We tried to get my boy Mako some shine, but it's all good. We'll take out that and two. And then we'll also... Uh, you had vanities. We didn't need... Oh, true, true. Uh, let's also put salvage down to one. Not finding too much use for that. Maybe th we take this out, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. I probably will bring back uh, Ocean Lord. At least once. Mm -hmm. One, two. Mm -hmm. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Not bad. Um. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like this deck needs more special summoning. Aha. Mm hmm 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 mm Mm, nope. Nope. 
Negative. Um. There's no reasoning. Really. Hey, true that, sir. True that. <laughs> there's no. There's no reasoning with the rituals. Yeah. I'm like, oh, Solemn's at one. Ooh. Why didn't I think of that? Ooh, yeah, that's, uh, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, also, uh, let's play some of these. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. And let's throw in, wow. They even limited some kai kaiju cards. That's interesting. They banned, <laughs> no, 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 sir. Uh, no, 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 flu. They banned... 75% of the game. Holy crap. Um, wow. Uh, one thing I do want to point out, though, this card's legal. There's got to be some cheese you can do with that. Hmm. And it's allowed at three. Huh. There's got to be some cheese. There's got to be some cheese, man. Uh... Yeah, that's a good idea. Why didn't I play this before? Yeah, that's actually a really good idea. Um, mm -hmm. Also, this, this card's at three. Hmm. Okay, my brain's thinking. We're thinking. You know, for stream next time, next week. But, uh, hmm, okay. Um, has there been a pin event yet? Yeah. Right? Uh, hi, Justice. I built a new deck. I want to test it. And now it's casual. Ooh, yeah, sure. I can make a viewer dual room. Hang on real quick. The zombie world top. Hey, I mean, hey, it is what it is. Yeah, let me, uh... We're testing a deck. Okay, Justice, I'm ready. Um, dual room. Also, I need to test this deck. Um, playing a goofy deck. Ooh, goofy. Sounds like good content to me. Okay. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, sure, guys. Um, welcome back. Yeah, uh, <laughs> sir. yeah, um, guys, like, let's be real, man to man, duelist to duelist, person to person. Do you guys like use Discord, Discord, or just like, eh, join the Discord, never use it again? Because, like, personally, me, right? <laughs> so, I'm a member of like, Probably like 45 discords. And you know how active I am in all of them? I'm active in one. I don't even think I should make one. It's a good... I, I, I guess that's true, sir. But I'm lazy. <laughs> I'm trying to create the excuse now. You guys really want me to create a discord. <sighs> all right. I guess I'll do it. You know, eventually. AKA, I'm never going to do... No, I'm just kidding. Like, yeah, I mean, I I guess you're right, sir. I, I guess, man. I mean, hey, that's that works with me, sir. I mean, my DMs are open. Just throwing that out there. Um, There we go. Let's uh, throw this up here. Um, Oh, yeah, we're going to do some viewer duels, man. All right, so... Throw my yeah, yeah. Um, no. Alright. Yeah. And see here. Mm-hmm. There we go. Alright. Alrighty, so uh Seven fifty five, four eighty three, boys and girls and duelists of all ages. That's the yeah. We'll switch to viewer duels for like uh, what time is it? Man, it's two in the morning. Holy sh. Well, um, yeah, yes, <laughs> a pumpkin deck. Huh? Um, we're gonna switch to a goofy deck of mine. Um, we're gonna play. <laughs> I just no, 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 we're gonna play. Um. Okay, this deck's pretty goofy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's, let's play goofy. Goofy right here. Uh-huh. 
All right, let's do it. All right, best of luck. Get ukulele. And uh, yeah. All right, we're going to see a goofy deck, which means we're going to see Phantom Knight's Turbo. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to see Raid Raptor Turbo. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's good content. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to see Flip Flop Frog Turbo. <laughs> Flip Flop Gumbo. We're going to see Sue Ships. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's a fair question. Hey, yeah, Flu, uh, I don't know if you're still here or not, buddy. But, uh, Flu, um, if you are here, uh, uh, wait, the ritual event just started, right? So I would guess, like, I'm guessing Flu started from the beginning, which was four hours ago. I'm guessing four hours, which it's not bad. You know, if you're running the right deck, that's pretty reasonable, honestly. And by right deck, I mean a deck that's good. How did you clear the 20? Um, yeah, that's that's manageable, sir. That's manageable. Because um, even, sir, like you saw, like here's the problem, right? If you get people who constantly, you know what I mean, sir? If you get people who constantly scoop the second you have an advantage, it's going to take you longer. Um, yeah, it's, it just depends. It just depends, you know. Uh, basically, just hope you have good luck. And no one has McDonald's Wi-Fi. Um, yeah, yeah, they got they have ritual monsters. Yeah, mm -hmm. they sure do. Yes, sir. Yep, they sure do. Oh, <laughs> Oh, what they don't? Um, well, I guess um, Flu is saying, like, they got all the medals and gems, which I guess is true. But aren't there, like, dailies? Or, like, no, there are festival, like, dailies. Like, to, like, ritual summon, like, 20 times, right? Isn't that... Hey, yes, yeah, sir, isn't that one of them? Like, ritual summon 30 times? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, well, in that case, maybe they played, um, you remember I was showing that end of the world tech? That's pretty good. Or maybe, I don't know. Hey, maybe flu has the secret sauce. Yeah. And by secret sauce, I mean the best RNG in the world. <laughs> Cause Hey, that'll, that'll get you to clear it in. Oh, or, um, Blue played Drytron. Yeah, yeah, chat. Like, on a serious note, if you're new to the game, just play Drytron. Like, seriously, just, you know. Or play this. What is this, the Newville? Like, this is all low rarity. Look at this. Normal. 
uh, normal, um, ultra, um, and it's not like you have extra deck monsters, it's a ritual deck. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, what, 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 was that dig too subtle, sir? Was that... <laughs> Drytron cards got the tier ban treatment. Oh, play them anyway. They're better than everything else. Play them anyway. Play the one or two Drytron cards you can. I don't care. I don't care if most of them are at one. They're still better than every other ritual archetype, except Necros during full power. So, yeah, I don't care. I don't care that they're at one. Play them anyway. You got better. You got better odds doing that than. Uh, I mean, hey, bro. First of all, this deck isn't cheap. Second of all, wait, what? It does. Uh, burgers play extra deck. They do. Well, in that case, Justice, I apologize for offending you. My bad, bro. What I meant to say is, burgers are cheaper than Drytron. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> also, burgers are cheaper than blue eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go with that. <laughs> man, blue eyes has like way too many ultras, man. Like way too many. But uh, yeah. There's the special recipe. It used extra... Wait, what? It used extra deck link... Oh. oh, so what Justice is saying here is Nouvelle is getting shafted by not having its signature Link monster. Huh. You would think Konami would have let him have it. But I guess they figured it was too overpowered. Or, uh... Hmm. Which monster would I like to be made as partner? Uh, this one right here. All right, anyway, we're going to continue on our gimmick, and then we're going to end the turn, because that's what we do, man. Look at this guy of the dragon champion, mate, man. That's sweet. Uh, like Link... I... <laughs> gotcha, 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 gotcha. Yeah, those cards are pretty good, yeah. I guess... The, uh, is uh, Dino Mondo and Super? I guess it is, yeah. Oh. Uh, I guess technically it is. But, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Newville's not... I mean, don't get me wrong. I know there are some expensive ultras. But, uh... Nah, it ain't as bad as Blue Eyes, man. <laughs> you ain't got to craft, like, 50 ultras in a 40-card deck. So, it ain't as bad as Branded. Yeah, just run Newville. It's, it, it's, it's, it's a little cheaper, you know. So, yeah. Uh, wah, 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 wah. Diviner of the hair. Is this our royal? <gasps> nice. <laughs> All right. That's sweet. Uh, no, it's not, sir, because you get more craft material for royals. Also, that means I respect you more. If you dismantle royals, you're a real fan. And for that, I love you and I respect you. Because a true duelist will give away his most prized card for a chance at a new card. The game's all about innovation. And... Sacrificing your most precious gift to get something of true value. That's what a Shino duelist is. Yeah, yeah. Bah, 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 bah. Thank you. 
Yeah. Sorry, Kyrie Yushin. Ah, uh, fish recipe. Uh huh. Added it, but that, but boom, 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 boom. Hmm. Yeah, this is the field spell. Let me actually read this. Let me read that. I've never seen this activated in a duel before when this card's activated. You can add a recipe card from your deck to your... Oh, okay. Once per turn, you can place the ritual card from your hand on the bottom of your deck. Draw one card. Once per turn, during your end phase, you can target two cards in your grave, including a recipe card. Place them on the deck. On the bottom. Uh, any order. Then draw one card. Man. Okay, so new veils like live and die by the field spell. Like, let's say you're in a norm normal matchup. Like, you desperately not only need to draw this card, you need to have it stick. Like, man, that advantage is really good. But if you ain't drawing the field spell, you ain't drawing it. So, I see now. Yeah, and there we go. There we go. No restaurant equals problems. Hmm. I mean, I'm not necessarily saying that. What I am saying is like, gee, Willikers, this fixes like so much of uh, kind of what we were just talking about. <laughs> like, I mean, you know, there is a lot of just quick effect destruction just kind of waltzing around out here in 2023, though. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's cool. But, uh, whew, well, you better have this thing stick, man. And I mean, stick hard. Because if you don't, you're going to get booped. I mean, <laughs> what's your favorite pin deck? Um, fun fact, sir, I don't have one. Why? I don't respect pendulums. And the clickbait section's over. Okay, for all of those who have left stream, the true answer is Zark Turbo. Yep. Yeah, because, you know, there's that card, Soul of the Supreme King, which automatically summons Zark for free. And, yeah, Zark Turbo. Pretty fun. And we've had one person unsubscribe. Okay, the true answer is uh, Pinned Magician. You know, with Astrograph Sorcerer. That's that, that's that's the true answer. I'm, 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 not, I'm not lying anymore. You know, they got so much support, like Duelist Alliance, just, you know, Endymion is a hell of a card. <laughs> so, it's Endymion. You know, that's the that's the true answer. And I really mean it this time. It's it's Endymion. It is. It is. It, it, it's Pen Magician. You know. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I've never read those cards. <laughs> Hey, sir, 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 you think I read pendulum cards, bro? <laughs> hey, hey, how did I do? Did I keep my face like serious long enough? I think I did. Hey, uh, Tim, we got uh, we got three clips, bro. <laughs> hey, man, <laughs> we, we, we got three. We got three of them. We got three of them things. Three of them things. Three of them things. Three of them things, man. Hell yeah, man. Hourglass of Life. Based. Based, bro. I almost drew all three, man. We drew, like, Oppressed People to start. Uh, then United Resistance. All we needed was people running about. And, yeah, we had the whole set right here. Uh, do loners only... Uh, you know, sir, I... That's a great idea. For the next... That's a great idea. The next festival... That's a fantastic idea. Why hasn't Master Duel done that from the start? No, seriously, like, think about every event you're ever in. Now, I get it, it'd be hard to code. That's genius. You remember how we were talking about, like, other formats, sir? Like, that's a genius format. Um, like, uh, what deck am I playing right now? Um, this deck is called, um, this is what the deck's called. It's called, um, Huge Revolution. 
And the goal is to send all cards in the hand and destroy all cards on the field with this. But uh, no, no, no. Hey, sir, like, sir, that's, dude, that's genius, dog. Like, whatever festival it's in, only make loner play against loner. That's freaking genius, bro. Like, no, like, seriously. Like, every festival, every format, like, now, I don't know how you would code it, but, like, that would fix, like, a lot of the problems. Huh. Yeah. And, uh, even, like, or, like, make loners available and ranked. And, literally, you have, like, loner format, where it's just, like, yeah. You have, like, four loners available for ranked. Yeah, yeah, and you somehow code it to where loners only play against loners. And you can't, like, edit the loner, obviously. That's, uh, that's genius. Wow. Master Duel, you ought to get on that one. I mean, like, Sir sometimes comes up with some good ideas. And, uh, no, like, seriously, like, I joke a lot. But, like, loner format sounds pretty fun. Because you only play against, like, a set pre-made deck. Yeah, and, like, you don't even have to think about the work. You just, like, boot up Master Duel, right? Especially, let's say you're a new player. Let's say you're new. You just boot up Master Duel for the first time. Click Loner, like, format. And then you just click a deck. Yeah, yeah, and I know, I don't know. Yeah, like, yo, that's, like... And yeah, you somehow code it to where if you're in ranked or whatever, you only play against like loner decks. <laughs> Dude, that's genius, bro. You, like, sir, I would love that format. Like, that would be amazing. That would be fun. <laughs> I, th I uh, sir, I think you solved the uh, the problem. I think I think you cracked the code, like literally, bro. Yeah, that would be pretty... Uh, oh, by the way, we're getting wrecked here. Uh, what's happening? I see five monsters on the field. Um, I think we're getting... Uh, what does this word say? Yeah, fucked. <laughs> no, but... Uh, <laughs> oh, so it's, uh, they're going to use the field spell at the end phase, which... That's pretty good. No, but yeah, loner format... Hmm. Sounds pretty... Pretty... F well, here's the problem. Okay. Because we all know Konami sucks, so how could they fuck it up? Well, here's how. They make one loner deck that's better than all the rest. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> like a little too overpowered. But that's on Konami. That's not on us. I mean, that's like, you know, um, not really... That doesn't mean the format's, like, bad. It just means Konami can't make decks, which... We've known that from the beginning. Like, we've known that they can't make decks since, you know, Red Eyes Darkness Dragon was a thing. So, it's not really a shock. But, um, yeah. <laughs> All right, Justice. I hate to kick a man while he's down. But, uh, eat my boot. Go, Exodia. Exodia, oh kick a rate. Exodia, it's not possible. No one's ever been able to kick him. Ha, did you get a kick out of that? I'm doing this for content. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes, I did bring a legit deck. You can't stop the unstoppable Kickodia. <laughs> All right. Nah, it, hey, it's cool, Justice. Hey, man, we're having fun. You know, fun. Good old-fashioned, all-American uh, fun. <laughs> All right. I, I I don't I'm not even sure what that means, sir. <laughs> I think there's an inside joke here that I I'm not a part of, so Ah
What in the world? I've never seen this card before in my life. Herald of Perfection. You can ritual summon this with... Oh. Oh, I see. Ah, joke's on you, man. I won't be activating any monster effects because I have normals. Ha <laughs> I get counter justice. No. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, I've never seen this card before. Herald of Perfection. Uh, activates a spell trap or monster effect. You can send a fair... Oh, I see. You know, this deck suddenly is looking familiar. I remember this format with Eva. <laughs> uh, anyway. Um, Confidus de Nudel. All right. Ba -da 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 -da. Um, by the way, what time is it, man? I, uh, getting a little late here, no? Um, let's see what's going on here. Um, the world? Ah, hey, man. Hey, nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> <laughs> do, 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 Um, wait a second. Hang on a second. Hang on. Hang on a second. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, that's, uh... <laughs> well. You know, you ever see something on your, uh... That you shouldn't discuss on stream. <laughs> this this question goes all to out all the fellow Twitch streamers. You ever see something like on your feed, you know, Twitter, that you really shouldn't discuss on stream? Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, I tell you, man. One thing I will say, I'll say this vaguely: we're living in a crazy, crazy world, man, and. You know, if you're out here struggling, it's not that bad. You know, it's really not that bad. It's really not. Man, like, I'm going to say this as vague as possible, sir. Like, people be doing stuff out here for free that, uh, you know, it's nice that it's 2023. And I love technology. I really, like, I remember back in the day, bro, <laughs> if we wanted to get anywhere with a, with a female... If we wanted to see, you know, anything of value, man, we had to work for that ish, man. You know what I mean? We had to put in the hours, bro. We had to clock in. We had to prove ourselves. Hey, man, it's 2023 out here, bro. And Twitter is wild, son. <laughs> Again, I'm being as vague as possible, but like, wow. <laughs> like, you ain't even got to try, bro. <laughs> no, people be putting it out here for free, bro. Like everything, like not just that, like it's crazy, man. 2023 is just crazy. And I'm not saying anything is good or bad. It's just wow. <laughs> it's just so easy. It's so easy to be a man in uh 2023. It's really not that bad. <laughs> you don't even have to try, bro. <laughs> um good game, Justice, man. Appreciate you, man. Uh, we gonna head back to the festival, but uh, yeah, good stuff, bro. Excellent deck. Um, what would I rate that deck? I would rate that a perfection festival out of ten, cause uh, I think your deck's ready, man. Um, yeah, able to test it. Um, hey, seem to be drawn consistently against me. Um, uh, also, I think the combo with uh, perfection. That's smart because you know the spell negation, you do have to activate ritual spells <laughs> in the festival. So having spell negation <gasps> Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Oh my god, please tell me they forgot about it. Please tell me they forgot about it. Please tell me they forgot about it. Please. <gasps> oh, damn it. Damn. 
<laughs> oh no, wait. It's it's legal. It's legal. It's legal, chat. It's legal. It's legal. It's legal. All right, chat. How's it going? Flooding mine 14 here. And I've just had a genius idea. You know how ritual decks need to play spell cards? What if we just say, no, you can't do that. What if we just, you know, what if we just, um, what if we, <laughs> you know, what if we just, uh, mm, what if we just say, hey, you know how you want to play spells? What if we just say, I eh, know, I don't think you can do that. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> this is going to be fantastic. Okay, so let's check out related cards. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and let's uh, make a couple more level ups. Hang on here, guys. Oh, I'm brewing. I am brewing right now. Here we go. Okay, and then, so, our main strategy is going to be Horus. Also, yeah. uh, can I show you an event replay? Um, Yeah, one second. Hang on, let me... Let me take out five out of here. Um, one. Uh, two. Three. Four. Five. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now I'm not sure I spelled uh, canceler right. We did it, did it spell and. Let's see. Um, like you know what I mean. Hey, hey, uh, sir, what's the counterpart of Jinzo? It's like spell canceler, I think. Yeah, that would be pretty good. Also, I don't know why that's not in the deck. Um, yeah, hey, uh, Justice, leave your uh friend code down below. Um, but um, <laughs> spell chancellor. <laughs> Um, oh wait, also this might be good. Hey, you guys ever play this in runic format? Uh, all right, we got you there, Justice. All right, all right. Um, that's a funny tech, by the way. Um, all right, so let's save this temporarily. Um, I don't know if we're going to be, yeah, we're going to come back to this. We're going <laughs> to. We're going to go into Horus Turbo, guys. Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah. Um, wait, prohibited? Prohibited. Oh, because I don't have the cards, right? Um, code. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm kind of hungry. So what we're going to do is I'm going to warm this up. And then when I come back, we're going to start the replay. Uh, matter of fact. We're going to start the replay and then for content. And then when I come back, I'll react to it. So let's go right here. Top one. All right. Justice. Appreciate you, Justice. All right. And this is Justice right here. And wait, what? Um, profile? Hmm. Replay. Ah, yeah. Nice. I didn't even have to look up the code. Top one. Okay. So you guys enjoyed this replay. And then we're going to replay it again. Because I'm going to warm this up and react to the content. Okay. No, 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 no. There we go. Hiya.
Wow. All right, so all I saw at the end there was uh, it was against Blue Eyes. So, sorry guys, I'm gonna have to replay this from the start. But what in the world happened here? Hmm. It's like seeing like the end of a football game, and you see that the uh, the Chiefs lost to the Broncos. And you're just like, what? <laughs> but uh, anyway, let's start the duel here. Hmm. Not a bad hand. Um, yeah. Basically, guys, like, you know, Vikings. <laughs> so, like, I don't know how to play Ritual, clearly. So, if you want to know how to play Ritual good, just uh, copy what Justice is doing here. Play Rituals this way. A.K.A. Yeah, play Prediction Princess. <laughs> like I said. <laughs> I mean, this was made in 2023, so... How bad can it be? Yeah, New York. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, so there's that. Um. All right. Hmm, not bad. I'm going to learn here. I'm going to just sit here and learn how the combos work. Wait. Oh. Okay. Okay. I don't know which one it is, but one of these ritual monsters keeps flipping stuff down. And then you flip it back. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> Draw two. Think about <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> I might have to watch that combo again on my own time, but maybe it was the middle monster. Something was making everything flip down that wasn't a ritual. Hmm. I'm going to have to see what card that was. Um, pretty good replay. Um, what would I rate it out of 10? 
Uh, 25 million. Two of them can make things flip. Ooh. Yeah, I would rate it 25 out of 10. Why? Man. Prediction Princess doesn't get much time. The sub... Oh. Oh, yeah, they do have a... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Almost forgot about that. Hey, hey, thank you, Justice. Um, No, seriously, though, guys. You want to clear some ritual uh, missions? Yeah, yeah, the these, these right here, these. Uh, the uh, if you want to clear, hey, thank you, Justice. You want to clear this right here? Yeah, the, the ritual summon 20? 20? Yeah, uh, you should probably like, I don't know, man, craft the, that deck or something very similar, because that seemed pretty. The card advantage seemed pretty. Uh, you know, up there. <laughs> so, I'm just saying, you know. Uh, anyway, back to the Ritual Festival. What do all Ritual decks need to do? Activate spells. How do we stop them from activating spells? Well, we play this. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, if you've never seen this card, this is Horus the Black Flame Dragon Level 8. And it reads, When a spell card's activated, <laughs> you can negate the activation, and if you do, destroy it. Now, I realize this can be impermed, but uh, wouldn't it be funny if we just shut down someone's entire turn with this? All right, so let's craft one of these. Uh-huh. Oh, we open a secret pack. Okay, let's save here. And let's, uh, <clears throat> let's pull this. All right, and we're hoping we pull some uh, Horus stuff. Ooh, shiny. Hmm. All right, wish me luck. Let's see here. <laughs> um, that's a pretty good card. So I hear. Alrighty, and just for funsies, let's uh go back here. Yeah, just for funsies, guys. <laughs> let's open ten. <laughs> All right, and let's start from the top. We got some shinies here. Wish me luck, boys and girls. Alrighty. Yeah, there's some like level stuff and all kind of stuff in here. And mm, not bad, not bad. All right. That's a super. We take that. We take those. All right. What else we got here? <laughs> We're gonna play Horus level, you know, eight in a in a world in a format where people need their spell. <laughs> Hmm, sounds fun to me. All right, so keep opening up here. All right, we got one more level up. Oh, another Horus. Good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. Sir, it's legal. It's legal, yeah. Yeah. It's legal. It's legal. <laughs> Ooh, Golgar. I like Golgar. All right. Do, 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 do. Yep. Yep. <laughs> All right. Um. Okay. Wait. 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 Hey, sir. Sir, doesn't Silent Swordsman also negate? Uh, is Level Monsters meta this format? Doesn't all Silent Swordsmen's like negate spells? Oh my God. Silent Swordsman Level Seven is meta. I never thought these words would exit my mouth. Huh. Well, how about that? Congratulations, level mechanic. You found your niche. <laughs> how did I just now think of this? Well, it's okay, you know. I've had a long day, and... I'll confess, I've been drinking. Water. Uh, we doing? What are we doing? Ooh, shiny, shiny, shiny. Um, <laughs> so, ooh, okay, I'll take that over Raptor, though. That's, uh, what's up, Arrow Flix? The right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't, yeah. Okay. All right. And I realize, like, spell negation isn't the end all be all. You still got to, like, duel, but, like, yeah, that's, like, 75% of the battle here. All right, all right. We're cooking, chat. We're cooking. Speaking of cooking, that hamburger recipe, am I right? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, we got two level sixes. That's perfect, though. That's about as good as I could have asked for, man. Because we spent the gems, and yeah, we got two of the card we want. So that's pretty good. All right, so let's hit here. Um, yep, not too bad. So let's add, yep, and let's search. Violent. Man. <laughs> so check this card out, guys. Cannot be normal summon or set. Must be special summon by Silent Swordsman on level 5. Negate all spell effects on the field. Yeah, how are you going to ritual summon with this out, bruh? I don't know. I guess you imperm this, but whatever. Then I play that royal decree. <laughs> okay, here we go. Stun strategy located, friends. Uh, thank me later. Um, yeah. So... Let's just, uh, let's pull this bad boy up. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah, let's just, uh, uh-huh. Let's get some of this, uh, let's leave, uh, a rat new man. I actually like that. With 1,800 or more, that sounds pretty good. Uh, so we'll leave that and the mama grizzlies. Um, let's take out, like, all the Umi stuff. We don't need that anymore. <laughs> we found a superior strategy. And yes, I literally mean levels are superior. Don't ask me how, it just is. Um, let's see. Yep. <laughs> Okie dokie. And let's move that. And let's move that. And let's get rid of this. And let's get rid of... Now, how much of this will I realistically be able to craft? No, that's somewhat of an issue, but, you know... We'll deal with that as as it goes, chat. Get rid of Turtle. Get rid of Kraken. Uh, we'll leave this little engine. I like this little engine right here. All right. All right. And then we need Silent Swordsman level what? Related cards. Uh, yeah, this one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. Level up. Yeah, this is kind of key to the entire stick. So, there we go. Um... What else? I guess... Huh. This turn. Mirror. <laughs> All right, sir. You know, that is... We do need some field clearing, so... That's fair. Um... Little bit of middle force. Um, Jinzo to one. Let's, uh... Oh, yeah, which, oh, I mean, uh, Royale, yeah, oh, Royal Decree is banned, why, what, Royal, oh, there it is, okay, <laughs> I was like, wait, what, um, uh, do we need these floodgates anymore, you know what, I guess I'll leave this, <laughs> the counter, uh, prediction princess turbo, but, uh, <laughs> okay, I'll leave this one to counter danger, you know, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, everything else, maybe not. I mean, we don't need this. Uh, well, we don't need this. Uh, sea stealth attack, don't need it. Um, okay, we want to resolve ritual sealing like once and then, you know, yeet it out the day <laughs> just because it'd be really funny uh, for content. Um, let's get rid of Avarice, actually. Uh, well, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then, um, right. Get rid of Fury. Um, take Torrential to two. Take Salvage out. Man, this deck's looking clean, man. Looking clean. Um, yeah, so all we need to craft is the three Horus. Uh, let's also add some flare in here. Let's add some, uh, uh-huh. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's add a little bit of that. Let's add, uh huh. Yeah, let's add this bad boy. Wait, I have a royal red eyes. Ooh, sexy. Um, <laughs> huh. Um, hmm. Red eyes monster. 
Hmm. Let's see related cards. Can this get Metal Dragon or no? Hmm. I don't think so. What can get Metal Dragon? Hmm. I don't know. I'm sure something can get it. Oh, right. Wyvern. Yeah, yeah that's pretty easy. I'll include like one, you know, but uh, yeah. There you go. Okay. And then from there, let's grab. I think we just craft these three ultras or four ultras. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, we're really good to go. Um, hmm. Seems pretty good to me. Um, I guess let's get rid of the chain energy. We don't really need that. Mm. Wow. Uh, yep. So, and then. Hmm. Yeah, that's, uh, that works. Um. Okay. And then um. Blah. Hmm. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. All right. There's that. Okay. And then um. Yeah. I think we're set. I think we're set with this deck. Uh, any old Umi cards left? That's what I got to check for. Any old Umi cards? Yeah, that adds Torrential. That's cool. Um, What's the Foolish Burial for, anyway? Foolish Burial for Wyvern. Right, right. Okay. Huh. All right. Yeah, I think that's a good ratio. Like, hmm... Let's take Horus down to two. I think one silent, two Horus. Also, I should include this card. This is probably a good idea. Um, yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah. Um, I guess uh, reload works pretty good. Uh, nice. There we go. Okay. So there we go. And now we just craft three ultras. Nice. So what we want to do from here is dismantle some stuff. So if nothing else, let's just grab the two Horus. Um, you know what? For this, I hate to do it, but I will dis dismantle one Venomonaga. Hate to do it, girl, but uh, we need the content. Um, right. <laughs> it's just like, am I ever going to play this card? I know we just pulled it, but uh, yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm never going to play this. <laughs> Let's get real, chat. Let's get real. So we dismantle this one that we just pulled. Um, this is for another series. Um, the, let's get... Um, I don't know. I'm never gonna use Levy and Ear either. Great card. I'm just never gonna use it. Um, yeah, we had our fun with Makita. We had our fun. Uh, I'll dismantle one. Um, same for this. I mean, we've had our fun with this as well. So, yeah, I'll disable. I'll dismantle one of these. Uh, Chronicle. Mm -hmm. uh, rescue, <laughs> yeah, 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 that's pretty good, actually. Um, even Overraptor, like, as good of a card as this is, I'm never going to use it in a deck. So, yeah, yeah I hate to do it, but yeah. Um, <laughs> Mercurior, yeah, I'm never going to play Try. So, there we go. And let's go here. Oh, right, Zoa. Uh, that's cool. Um, Oh, right, yeah, these cards. I guess we do have. We have three and two. Maybe a good ratio. And I kind of do want to try these out, so I guess we'll leave them. Um, the mind control. 
Um, anything else? Anything I have like four of, that'd be nice. Um, deployment, yeah. Um, zombie world. <laughs> um, jam breeding machine. Hell yeah. Um, negate the first effect. Huh. What in the world? What deck uses this? What? This seems so specific. Oh, familiar possessed. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I was like, wait, what? I mean, to be fair, though, am I going to use Familiar Possessed? No. So, get rid of that. Okay. And then, um, I'm never going to run by a Yance. So, get rid of that. And then, um, ooh. Oh, wow, we have four of that somehow. Uh, four. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, so there we go. Nice little batch of ultras, and let's generate Horus, baby. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, man. Okay, at some point tonight, sir, Horus is going to win us a game. Dude. Or Silent Swordsman. That is awesome. That's so funny. That's like the funniest tech ever. Dude, that is hilarious. Okay, and sir said, discard. Damn it. All right, all right. So we'll do that, and we'll throw in this. Yeah, buddy. All right, let's do it. <laughs> hey, guys. You want to have fun at the Ritual Festival? You want to activate spell cards? Well, you better hope I don't go first. Uh, no, on the real, though. The only problem with this deck, well, the only two problems. <gasps> Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I just realized something. Hang on, hang on. Uh-huh. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Um. Yo, yeah, and then let's throw... Yeah. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, because we can... Uh... Oh, wait, right, I still have the level fives in, too. Which, I'm not running Umi anymore, so I don't need these. There we go. Okay, now that's looking good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, ideal first hand. One Fiend Sanctuary. Four of six. Level up. Ideal, uh... Um... Alright, so ideal hand... <laughs> Gora Turtle Tech. Um, yeah, ideal hand. Um Yeah, uh Fiend Sanctuary. Fiend Sanctuary, Horus Six, um, level up. That's the ideal hand. Somehow. <laughs> uh right. Yeah, that's uh that's true. So Alright, so let's go first and wish our opponent luck. <laughs> All right. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay. So, what Master Duel is trying to do here is troll me and say this is a bad idea. What we do in this situation is this. Yeah, buddy. All right, you know, the weird part about that hand is we can draw card destruction and fix that hand. You know, maybe. All right, next duel. Next duel, buddy. All right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. we'll play this one out we'll play this one out just to see if they're running um what you call it 
if they're running um prediction princess all right in the phase also i think they only needed to play two traps in the festival <laughs> to get some gems so yeah let's do it uh light of intervention go all right <clears throat> we're gaming mm -hmm. all right Hmm. Hmm. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Something else I just realized. Wait a second. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There is one other anti spell um, tech that I just thought of. Let's see here. Okay. <laughs> okay. I didn't think that would be in there. But, um, yeah, yeah, the level monsters got me thinking, man. There's actually tons of, like, anti spell texts out there that, like, not many people think of, you know, initially. Share with. <laughs> oh, so Dark Paladin has the tech to, uh, like, the. It's almost like how Zeus has a secret effect. But, uh,. Dark Paladin has the effect, like, if a magic card is activated, throw away a card to negate it. <laughs> uh, now, Dark Paladin's obviously not allowed in the festival. But I figured I'd check anyway. Um, This hand is the pits, bro. Um, Yeah. We're looking for full combo, chat. That's all we want. All we want is full combo, turn one. Well, and we prefer to go first. That's, uh, hmm. All right. Quick wins, quick scoops, man. It's like we're running test hands at this point. No, but um, I probably will run a full stream with just this deck where, yeah, all we want to do is, like, get the Horus lock off right away and then just see what... Like, because that's just funny. Um... <laughs> Hey, sir, ready for some content? Okay, I activate Fiend Sanctuary. All right, then I summon a Fiend token. And then I have a little surprise for you. Next, I sacrifice my Fiend token to summon the lovely Horus, the Black Flame Dragon level 6. Oh, shocked are we? Well, you'll be even more shocked when I do this. Level up. So now, show me that ash. I guess ash does still exist. Go, Horus, the Black Flame Dragon. Level 8. Now, you can't play spell cards. Ha ha ha. And now we lose the labyrinth. Ready? Alright, Master Duel. Troll us. Troll us with labyrinth. Or he's playing full kaijus. Either way, you know. It's cool, man. Alright, let's see the troll. Let's see some effect negation. Let's see the instant imperm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, defense modi modi. That's what we like to see. See. All righty, my turn. Uh, okay. So even if they do break the lock, <laughs> even if they break the lock, we've got this. That's cool. Um, yeah. Let's just uh, Horus Black Flame Burst. Do Nama's Valkyrie. Hmm. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Okay. I'm in though. Hmm. Not what I expected, but all right. This is a 54 card deck. Ooh, a six card extra. I just want to point that out. What do you got? Hmm. They're not setting a lot of cards, which tells me one thing. They ain't got no traps, <laughs> which that's good for us, right? Um, what is this? Ooh, beginning night. Oh, a blackluster monster ritual. Wow, you want a ritual summon? 
Looks like you can't do that. <laughs> okay. So they're running VLS. Interesting. Hmm. At this point, I just need to put on the gas. But clearly, we're like hand boning them right now. So, all right. Well, Black Flame Dragon. Nice. <laughs> all right. Do you think we'll see it, sir? Do you think we'll see some scoops? You know, we're going to try like a full stream with this deck. And by full stream, I mean like a five-hour stream at some point. Oh, they're setting. They're setting. They are set in their ways. <laughs> Bow before Royal Horus. <laughs> oh, man. This feels fucking awesome, bro. <laughs> like, hey, man. I don't even care if we lose at this point. The fact that we locked them down for like three turns in a row, that's... uh. <laughs> this bad boy putting in some work, man. Man, this feels great. Draw face. Nice. Nice. That's what we like. That's what we like. Okay. Full combo achieved, chat. So what we do... Now, some of these cards do have stats. Ooh. Hey, sir, I have an important question. You're still here. Or anyone in chat. Do you think this duelist has Lava Golem? Ooh, that would kind of be a problem. Hmm. Well, no risk it, no biscuit, right? So let's set this. And let's, uh, yeah, let's hope not. Uh, let's also set a bluff. Okay. Let's activate Lord. All right. And let's just walk in here, man. Christopher, walk in. Um... So far, no floating either, so... That's good. That's got to be good for us. Hmm. <laughs> Man, this card's oppressive, bro. Like, if your deck's 99% spell cards, a.k.a. pre-preparation of rights times three, yeah, this card's a house, bro. <laughs> okay, well, they're doing stuff now, so... At a beginning night, so... They're beginning to thin the deck... There you go. Um, yeah, BLS decks do have, like, some... Ah, they finally got it, huh? All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. They finally got it. So, there's the Manju. Wow. Well, the good part is the backup plan's already... <laughs> That's the good part. Uh, there's the Chaos form. So, again, horse is negated, which... We knew was a possibility. But yeah, they were so ham boned, bro. So eventually they got the imperm. Um Hmm. So there's Chaos Max. Right, which makes sense. It's pretty good. Mm-hmm. And now what? Hmm. And I don't think I have any kaijus myself, so it's probably the end of the game, honestly. Hmm. <laughs> Vanilla BLS. Hell yeah. Look at that. Look at this. Yeah, baby. Regular BLS. I honestly like to see it. Like, man, this card's still so good because you can just kind of banish something and say, hey, hey, live to fight another day. Hmm. Synthesis, right? There's ARA. <laughs> Man, we we had we this is this literally proves that this is a good idea. They had freaking ARA. They had um nice legendary sword. Yeah, they had freaking chaos form. Like, bro, <laughs> they were just like begging to negate Horus, which and they banished it, which I don't blame them, but. You know, also they missed out on lethal there. Uh, you got to attack with Chaos Max first, but, you know. Yeah, so they missed out on lethal there, but, yeah, anyway. <laughs> Man, like, uh, that should just prove to you guys that ain't no way, fam. Um, Get countered, uh, Chaos Max. Bow before the almighty turtle. <laughs> That's right, you can't attack. All right, our win con at this point, hope they can't read. Let's go. Let's go, turtle. 
It's me and you, Gora. Do, 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 Gora. Gora the Explorer. Oh, how dare you. <laughs> no, but that's just proof. Like, okay, we, did, we didn't win that duel. You know what I mean, sir? But, like, okay, we clearly hand-boned him. <laughs> like, like, that's all I wanted, bro. That's all I wanted. You play Horus, like, turn one, and it's just like, yeah, what are you going to do? And, like, and like that proved my point. Like, the only trap anybody plays, you know, in this Ritual Festival was uh, Imperm. And so, but, like, if we draw Royal Decree there, what are they going to do? Like, I don't know. Now, honestly, this festival, guys, I encourage you to do the same. I encourage you to do, like, something very similar. Something very similar. Like, both of these are good. This card proved itself way earlier in stream. Like, that that effect is really good for uh, Tetsudo. Um, like, just try it, man. And just try, just try to turbo this out. Try to turbo out, like, level 7 because, like, what are they going to do? <laughs> and then, you know, the only problem there, we didn't push for damage. That's, like, the only problem. But, um, yeah, give it a try. And, hor like, it, man, it just feels so good. You just have horse on field, and you're just like, what's up, bro? What you got? What you got? <laughs> so, yeah, um, we're probably going to try, like, a full stream of this. Um, I'm thinking probably Tuesday. Um, right now, let me see. Um, is my buddy on? He is. Okay, sir, you know where we're going. We're going to good old, you see this over here? Uh, yeah, we're going to Clovis Senpai, so we'll go to... Let me make sure I spell his name right. Oh, uh, yeah, but let's be nice, and let's, uh, yeah, just say hi to Clovis. He's he's cool, man. So, uh, yep, I seem to raid Clovis a lot, but, you know, he's always streaming Duels of the Roses when I get uh, in stream, so it's like, yeah, why not? <laughs> uh, Silent Magician beats... <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, but uh, thank you, sir, for being here. Sir, thanks a lot. And um, who else did we have tonight? We had quite a few people pass through, honestly. Um, Arrow Flicks, thank you for being here. Justice, yeah, thanks for the viewer duels, too. And the replay, hey, that's free content. And also, thank you to... Who else was here? Uh, wasn't Flu here? Yeah, Flu was here. Flu was here. <laughs> Flu's like... Uh... Hey, yo. <laughs> hey, uh, but yeah. Uh, Flu was here a little while ago. Yeah, Flu VT. Thank you. Appreciate you being here. And I think that's everybody. Oh, and uh, of course, right. Future VOD watchers. Because we can do that. We can thank people right now in the present and say, hey, thanks in the future. You know, like four years from now, you watch this VOD and just like, yep. The ritual events coming around again. Let me see if I can play some Horus, man. Heck yeah. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>